interval and a hypothesis testing. Uh, we defined confidence interval by range. We defined it as a specified probability that the value of a perimeter lies within it. And also the hypothesis testing, we said it allows us to make probabilistic statement about the population perimeter. So the two confidence interval and hypothesis testing goes in handy. So let's start with the confidence interval for the mean. So we use Z when the sample size is greater or equal to 30 or the population variance is known. A recent survey of 236 customers who frequent convenience store in Kimberley found that the mean value of purchase was 48.45. Assume the population standard deviation of purchase value at convenience store is 18.58 and that purchase value are normally distributed. Find the 95 confidence limit for the actual mean value of all purchases at convenience store in Kimberley. So having a sample size which is 236, we also have sigma. So we are going to use Z. So our alpha, since it's 95 percent confidence interval, is given by 100 minus 95, which is just 5 percent. So, which means we'll have to look for Z of alpha over 2, which is the same as 0, 0.025. So, we'll look for this value from the Z table. So, to make it easy, uh, for us to find the Z of 0, 0, 0.025, the first thing that we have to say, we have to subtract 0, 0.025 from 0, 0.5, then we look at the probability corresponding to the Z score. So while looking for the Z of alpha over 2 is the same as, so the probability of Z equals to Z alpha over 2, so what we'll be looking for this value from the Z table, then we'll find the corresponding z alpha over 2. So this is the table. Let's check for 0, 0.475. Oh, if I look carefully, I found my value somewhere here. Can you see it? Let's see what is it corresponding to. This value is corresponding with uh, 1.9 on my y-axis. Let me check on my x-axis. What is it, the value corresponding with, where is the value? It is corresponding with 0 0.06. So which means my Z of 0 0.025 is nothing but 1.96. That's how simple I do it to find the Z value. Then from there now, I can calculate the confidence interval since I have my critical value, which is, so which means my Confidence interval for the mean will be between 46.0795 and 50.8205. So, I will conclude by saying we are 95% confident that the actual mean value is between 46.0795 and 50, 8205. Now, can we find the margin of error for this? In fact, the margin of error is just this part. It's just this part. So, which means is 2,3705. That's our margin of error. So, now you understand how to use Z. Let's